our manifesto identifies five main priorities. Uh, first of all, uh, we need uh, Europe to remain open for business. Uh, this means retain the ability to attract investments, to cooperate with global partners. So we need uh, an open trade environment. Uh, we of course need also effective trade defense instruments uh, uh, to address issues that undermine uh, potentially the competitiveness of our companies and businesses. Uh, with them, we need a functioning single market. The single market is the biggest asset that Europe has to boost its competitiveness. It has been so for 30 years but is in danger of being fragmented. We see new trade barriers coming up constantly, and this is hugely undermining the competitiveness of European businesses. Thirdly, we need to finally get to terms with the fact that competitiveness and sustainability are completing goals. They are not in opposition to each other, they go hand in hand. We can't have one without the other. So the choice is not uh, to boost competitiveness and forget about sustainability, but we need competitiveness to deliver sustainability. This is also key to drive innovation. Europe needs to invest and achieve results in R&D, in innovation. We are losing ground against global competitors, so this is really an area that must be prioritized, particularly in light of the uh, technological developments uh, that uh, are undergoing around the world. And for these, we cannot forget the people. Skills, upskilling of the workforce, reskilling of the workforce, uh, uh, allow our youngsters uh, to be out there uh, competing in a world uh, where uh, global talents uh, are much more uh, available and free to travel. Uh, so there is a huge competition for our youngsters, so we need to prepare them uh, for these conditions. So I believe that we have uh, all the elements that can allow Europe to be competitive, to thrive, to deliver the twin transition. It's just a matter of making sure that uh, we uh, put the right conditions in place for these goals to be achieved.